Hello everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to Let's Play Solstheim at level 1. In the last video, we finished the quest of the Temple of Murak, and in this one we begin the fate of the skull. So basically we're down here just following Freya. You see that green light? That comes from the windstone, where my people work against their will. They must be freed soon. Alright, good to know Freya. So we're just following her to, I believe, Skull Village. Oh, this bridge has changed. Normally there isn't these posts here, but I do have some certain things installed. The village is just ahead. Storn has used his magic to raise a barrier around it, protecting the few of us left. That the barrier is still there is a good sign. Very good sign. Alright Freya, I'm getting cold so we should probably get there quick. Because I am playing on survival mode because I feel like that makes this a little more challenging because I can't just fast travel and jump back and forth across the island without having to like face the difficulties of the actual island. And if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. We're over 200 subscribers now, which is unreal. And I really appreciate it. We're getting like 50 views of video at least after the first like two or three days now, which is just crazy and I really love it. I have returned. There is I'm gonna save really quickly here. Hope. Freya, what news do you bring? Is there a way to free our people? No, but I have brought someone who has seen things. He has confirmed that Mirak is indeed behind the suffering of our people. I feared that it would be so. But how is that possible? After all this time? I fear there is too much we do not yet know. Please, tell Storm what has happened. Alright, so now we have to talk to Storm Cragstrider, who is the father of Freya. So you have seen things, yes. My magic grows weak, if and so does the barrier now, around our sure. village. Time is short. Tell me what you know. I've seen Mirak. Really? How? I read a book in Mirak's temple and went somewhere. Mirak was there. The legends speak of that place. Terrible battles fought at the temple. The dragons burning it to the ground in rage. They speak also of something worse than dragons buried within. Difficult to imagine. But if true... It means what I feared has come to pass. Mirak was never truly gone, and now has returned. If you could go to this place and see him, are you like Mirak? Are you Dragonborn? I am indeed Dragonborn. Then perhaps you are connected with him. The old tales say that he too was Dragonborn. What does it mean if we're both dragonborn? I am unsure. It may mean that you could save us, or it may mean that you could bring about our destruction. But our time here is running out. The few of us left free of control cannot protect ourselves for much longer. You must go to Sering's Watch. Learn there the word that Mirak learned long ago and use that knowledge on the windstone. You may be able to break the hold on our people there and free them from control. What do you mean, free your people from control? Some dark influence wields power over them, forces them to forget themselves and act against their nature. At first, it was only during the night, but now every moment is spent building some strange shrine around the windstone. I believe if the shrine can be destroyed, the skull will be free once more. What do you know about Mirak? Much of what was known has been lost to the ages. He was dragonborn, and yet he served the dragons. A priest in their order, highly esteemed and very powerful. Then he turned against them, 
becoming something they feared. He was defeated long ago, but it seems he was never really destroyed. Why do I need to learn a word of power? Mirak is behind what is happening to our village. And so the knowledge she has gained as Dragonborn is at the heart of it. You are Dragonborn as well. You too can wield this power, perhaps to a better end. Alright, so that's all we can get out of Storm right now. And I believe there's not much going on at the village until, like, after you free them. But I don't know if I want to do that right this second, because... In case you guys remembered, in the second video before I went into the Temple of Mirak, I was actually attempting to do something near Raven Rock. So I think I'm going to, um, like, set a marker over here, head back to Raven Rock, and do what I wanted to do around there. Maybe, like, gear up a little more. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to begin the walk over there. There's not much that I can talk about, really, so I'm probably just going to cut it, and you will see anything interesting that may or may not happen. So, see you when we get there. Okay, so up ahead, actually, I believe there is the Thirsk Mead Hall, which is this area... Not an area, it's a mead hall, which is basically, you know, just like thing of your Vasker and White Run, which I'm sure you all know already. Oh yeah, I have dual wield ebony blades. I believe, yep, this is Thirsk Mead Hall, and this is a place that was actually taken over by Reichlings, which are basically like little goblins, but they live on Solstheim, which is interesting. And there's actually a quest that takes place here, but first you have to go down and talk to a group of Nords. So here is Thirsk, and down there you see that little camp symbol, which usually like represents a bandit camp. But in this instance, it represents the Nord's camp. As you can see, there is a bunch of Reichlings right outside. So I'm thinking we're going to go down here, discover this, and at least start the quest to talk to the Nords. Right now I'm basically just accumulating things we can do, and we're going to do them when we can, when it would be easier for us to do. As you can see, we are still level one, but I'm not gonna like stay level one. The second I can sleep, I am gonna sleep and level up. So I guess it will get to a point where it's not soul slime at level one anymore, but I begun it at level one. That's the purpose. What's this? Corundum Orvain. What am I in combat with? Oh, an ice wolf? Mm, I'm really cold. I need to warm up by a fire. Oh, the stew is stealing. Alright, it seems like they're going to take care of that ice wolf for me. While I warm up by the fire. No, come on, we're right here next to the fire. Let's be warm. It's okay. Okay, are these all, like, owned? Yes, I'm afraid they are. Owned, owned. Oh, I am extremely hungry, apparently. What about this one? All of it is owned. That is really unfortunate. I'm not gonna steal. Okay, it is so cold here. Alright, I'm gonna see you guys when I warm up better. Alright, so it seems we are better warmed up now, and I'm actually gonna see if I have any food on me. I believe I should have something. I have a horker loaf that should hold us over. I could when we ran off, but it will only last so long. Have you been by Thirsk? Have you seen... Is there any of the mead left? Alright, so this isn't the person we should be talking to right now. If you're here about the Reeklings, just tread quietly around my sister. Who's your... Oh, here she is. Beold the Unworthy. I don't really have time for this. What's going on here? What's going on here is that we've been kicked out of our home. That sucks. The Mead Hall, up there on the hill. We were... Some Reeklings have taken it over. How are Reeklings able to overpower you? With tenacity and numbers. It didn't help that we'd grown a little too comfortable up there. Too much Mead. Too many stories. Too few battles. What if you had one extra warrior? Are you offering to help? Some new blood should be enough to rouse these layabouts to actually fight again. That sounds like fun. Well, let's move then. So, what's interesting enough is you actually have the option to help the Reichlings in this endeavor. 
but this character and my normal characters don't help the you goblins. Milk drinkers, get over here. I know you're all starting to settle in here and keep up the fat lives you've got used to up in the hall. But look here. This outsider has more fire than any of you. All I had to do was mention our little infestation, and he volunteered in a second. I don't want to have my spirit outstripped by some wanderer, so let's get up there and kill us some reeklings. Alright, so now we have be on the quest retaking Thirsk, and it seems we're getting thrown right into it. So, we are on our way to go up there and kill these reeklings. Which is... Pretty easy if I remember. So how many is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven counting me. So, I mean, 20 goblins should be no match for us. Let's get up ahead of this group. I don't even think Reiklings will really be much of a challenge for our character particularly. But I am going to make a quick save. Just in case, because obviously you are supposed to be a higher level when you're in Souls time. So you never really know what's going to happen. So it seems there are 17 Reiklings we have to kill. And yeah, we do pretty decent damage to them. I didn't mean to back up like that. Seems like a majority of them are inside. Oh yeah, there is a ton of them. Let's see if I can just do this. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Where is my healing? Minor healing potion. Vigorous healing potion. Why are our potions so... Like, what active effects are causing our potions to um, not work as well? Beneficial potions are 20% less effective because we are tired. That makes no sense. Alright, so I guess... Yeah, that helps. So yeah, they are tougher than I thought, but definitely not as challenging as all of the enemies in Mirax. Alright, spoke a little too soon. I got hit by like three of them at once and just instantly died. So, I'm going to have to rethink this a little. Oh, luckily our quick save. It was an auto save. Alright, there goes half of them. Let's use healing. Alright, so what do I have on me that could help? That won't really help very much. Do I have any, like, poisons? Yeah, I just have normal poison. Help us kill at least one cooker. Alright, as long as we're doing, like, one at a time, we should be okay. Maybe. Okay, wow. I'm getting destroyed by this one little dude. Alright, it seems like they'll be able to finish them off. It's like they're in a conga line of doom. So I guess I can just go around and wipe up what's left. Oh my god, they do so much damage. That is unreal. There was never a day where I thought fighting a bunch of Reiklings would be a challenge. Alright, so that was the last one other than the Chief. Let's let them finish him off. Okay. So I guess I have to finish him? Sorry, little dude. You know what's funny? Is he can actually, like, speak. When I mean speak, he can, like, talk actual words. So you get to talk to a Reichling. Alright, so I'm gonna heal up and then talk to Beold. So, you'll see me when I'm 
fully restored. Okay, so that's about as good as we're going to get right now. Put these weapons away. Ah, uh, that was almost exhilarating. How are you feeling? That was a little more than I expected, which is my uh, legitimate feelings. Oh, come on now. I'm going to need you to perk up if you're going to come with me as my second. Your what? My second. If we're going to take up residence here again, I need to get the blessing of Rothmund again. I'll need a witness and, well, you see the kind of horker brains I deal with around here. What do you say? Now, I'd be honored. Well, let's not waste time talking about it then. I feel like this is going to be way more difficult than it needs to be. We need to meet Beold at Hrothmund's Barrow. There's a Reikling Spear here. I didn't really, like, necessarily sign up for this. I forgot that you did this right away. I thought you had to, like, leave and come back a little while later. So, where is Hrothmund's Barrow? Yeah, it is quite far away. Hmm. Should I return the Raven Rock first or complete this quest first? We keep getting sidetracked throughout this qu er, series. Oh, the air is treacherously cold. I think it's important. I need to go back to Raven Rock and gear up. So I'm definitely not going to complete this quest right now. I'm going to beeline my way back to Raven Rock, not going to let anything distract me again, and I will see you guys when I get there. Okay, so we have a dragon, which isn't really what I was expecting. I don't even... Is that, like, just a normal... No, I'm not fighting you. This is insane. So let's hope we can just escape him. Oh, and here's a nice Dwarven Ruin. Wonderful, beautiful, gorgeous. I love it. Um, this is Kagrumez. I believe I remember which one this is, but I can't... Please leave me alone. I want nothing to do with you, dragon. I can't fight you right now. Man, if he wasn't here, I could actually sleep. But no, he has to be a pain in my butt. If I... Okay, I'm going in. This is wonderful. Where did you go? Right there. Nice. Okay, see you later. Look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna die. Nothing I can do. Dragon just comes right out of nowhere. That's amazing. Oh my god. I'll see you guys when I get to Raven Rock. It seems over here we have some sort of chest. I have a scary feeling that when I loot it I'm gonna like wake up yep ash spawn that's what I thought so I guess I'll just grab all of this and run as fast as I can maybe give myself a little head start on them so we are nearing oh my god please no just leave me alone I don't have time for this ouch that hurt oh nice burnt spriggans those things evil Totally evil. Vigorous stamina. Um, quick save. And run as fast as I can. As you guys can see, I did try to take a different route because I wanted to avoid the dragon, but it seems like that doesn't matter because there's more difficult enemies scattered all over the island of Soul Slime. And I'm kind of like losing my mind right now because this is what? Second or third time I've tried to get here? Luckily, it seems like those burnt spriggans are fighting something else. Oh, Netches. Let's hope they don't get mad at me. Who are you? Skull Hunters? Hunter, 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 and Hunter. Okay. Nice to meet you, Hunter. Um, cubed, right? Yeah, cubed. No, cubed is three, isn't it? Squared. And then cute. What's, f like, to the fourth power? I don't really know. I haven't taken a math class in, like, four, what? Three? Three or four years? Yeah. Something like that. You can, like, call me dumb in the comments if you want. I don't really care. That's if any of you are still... No. Literally, my unrelenting force shout is really just being used as, like, a deterrent at this point. So we have plenty of stuff we should be able to sell once we get into town. Which we should do, like, right now. 
So we will be able to gear up again, and I'm probably just going to end the video. So this is going to go up on, what is it today, Saturday? So you'll be viewing this on Saturday. I'll probably have another one come out on Monday, Sunday or Monday. I usually like to give my videos like two days to breathe. Alright, so yeah, we're going to go in here, sleep in a bed, level up, sell our things, and call it a video at that. I wonder, it's definitely been more than 24 hours, hasn't it? Yes. Okay, here we are. What's your name again? Geldis. Welcome to the Retching Netch, Outlander. What can I get you? I like to rent another room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Wish there was an option where you could like long term rent a room. Maybe for like seven to fourteen days and it was like a little discount. Oh, this wasn't the bed that we could sleep in. But even if we owned a bed, he would have said like, Oh, you already have a bed. So it's this one. Alright, let's sleep until eight in the morning. That should Let's, oh, please don't teleport me somewhere else. I really don't have time for this. Level up. Let's do health. Health again. Health again. Health again. So we are level five. I know you're probably like, you should have put that at least in like some stamina. But I want to get to like 250 health. I'm going to try to max out our damage right there. And our heavy armor. And I'm going to wake up somewhere else. <sighs> Man, Gotta love it. Let's hope it's... Oh my god, that is beautiful. In my shrine. I'm going to make a quick save real quick. I just want this as a screenshot. So where are we? Sunstone, it's right next to Telmithrin. Raven Rock's all the way over there. Okay. I guess we're going to run back to Raven Rock and oh my god oh you know what I can sell my stuff to this dude not a problem so I'm gonna sell things to this guy and wrap up the video right, look on your face I'm guessing you've never seen a silk strider before no what is it this is dusty I personally trained her from a lava feels like a lifetime ago now she hasn't been in traveling condition for quite a while now I've tried to let it go off on her own, but she insists on staying here. It's because she'll die on her own. How do you survive out here? We get bar trade nods and ends with the locals. I've decided to stay here and make sure she passes in peace. It's the least I can do for her. Every once in a while, a local makes it out here. Although they usually just want to catch a glimpse of Dusty. Silk striders are pretty rare now. Alright, what have you got for sale? Take a look. So this guy only has a hundred in level and gold, but does he have anything useful on him that like we could use? Um, no, not. He has this, which we will need later. Lock picks, I can take all of those. And whatever we don't need now, I'm going to sell to him. I'm not selling him that, it's way too much. I'll just sell him these boots, gloves, and one of these cultist robes. Sell him this ring. And guys, I know the ending of this video is a little weird. Oh, and by the way, this is Dusty, the Silt Strider. In Morrowind, Silt Striders were like the carriages. So you would go up and like you would, well, you wouldn't like actually ride them. But you would, you know, like talk to the person and you would travel. Because fast travel wasn't a thing in Morrowind. But yeah, this is where I'm going to wrap up the video. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure, leave a like and subscribe. I know it was rough, but... That's what entertainment is for you guys, isn't it? Hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.